Hello and welcome to another video. I'm standing outside a bus station in Nashville and that can only mean one thing. I'm taking Nap Away, a luxury first class sleeper bus service and we're going to Washington DC. Come along and let's check out what this unique bus service offers. First things first, some housekeeping. I found the Napaway stop a little tough to find, but it's here, just south of the Municipal Auditorium in Nashville. Don't be fooled by the bus station next door, it's this black sign you want to look out for, out on the street. It was not exactly a great Sunday night in Nashville, and as our 7.30pm departure approached, I got an email. The bus would be a little bit late. No bother, and I appreciated the communication. But I have to say, this stop is not an ideal location if the weather's like this. Bus stations in the US aren't pleasant places to hang out, and there is no other shelter actually at the stop itself. So this wasn't an ideal start. Our gorgeous looking night bus soon arrived. It's fitted with 18 suites and sports a suitably dark livery with heavily blacked out windows. One serious advantage of the bus is you get to take two bags for no extra fee, better than most of the American domestic airlines. This is going to be a tough video to film. There's rain, almost complete darkness, and silence is needed on board. But hey, it's something different, right? Let's board. I booked suite number one at the front of the bus. This is a flexible seating arrangement called Butterfly Suites, which comprises two seats which fold down to make a single bed. And yes, you get the whole thing to yourself. The hat racks are great for storing a carry-on bag and there's solid heating and aircon at every suite, plus a powerful reading lamp. Each suite comes with a privacy blind too. Today's video sponsor is Surfshark, an award-winning VPN. Surfshark is part of my travel arsenal for a whole list of reasons. If you aren't attracted to the idea of leveraging lower ticket prices or staying safe on public Wi-Fi, maybe the whitelisting facility, industry-leading encryption, and the fact it's the first premium commercial VPN with locations in over 100 countries might convince you. It's so annoying when you can't access some of your favorite content overseas. Surfshark can help. Activate the VPN, select an appropriate spoof location, and hey presto, access to your favorite TV show is restored. It's dead easy and costs absolute peanuts too. You'd be mad not to consider it, especially as Surfshark have a special improved deal for the holidays. Go to surfshark.deals forward slash ringinit for 85% off and three months extra for free of Surfshark VPN. So here we are, we're on the road. We're on the way to Knoxville, which is our first stop. Let's take a quick look at the route that our bus will be taking today. We'll be taking the bus 11 hours and 675 miles to Washington DC, mostly along Interstate 81, with a stop a few hours in at Knoxville to pick up a few more passengers. We end up in Washington at 7.30 a.m. at a parking lot in the city center. My plan is to stay up for the two and a half hours or so it will take us to get to Knoxville, get off, get some fresh air, and then head to sleep. It actually looks like uh, most people on board I've got their privacy screens down. I'm either heading to bed or getting some quiet time already, so I've got to keep my voice down from here. Each passenger gets a small amenity kit, which contains a small hygiene wipe like this, an eye mask, and some earplugs. Although I will say that the saloon was impressively quiet and dark throughout the trip. 
There's no host or catering, so eat before you go and bring some snacks and maybe a cereal bar for the following morning. Let's talk prices and seats. The fare was $125 one way, which is very affordable considering plane and hotel prices these days, and you can pick your suite off a seat map. I don't recommend following my choice, which I picked mostly to film out of the front of the bus for all that juicy B-roll. Unlike all of the other seats, there's no table, which isn't ideal, and there's also no power socket down here either. Also, the suite is open to the front, which is fine when it's dark, but not great if you're traveling in summer and get the morning sun. There is Wi-Fi and streaming entertainment, but the eagle-eyed among you would have spotted their delay email explained this was not working on our trip. There is a clean and smart toilet at the back of the bus, so there is no need to alight at rest stops if you feel a call of nature. The seats fold down using a couple of buttons to form a fully flat bed. It's very easy and the quality of the bedding is great. You get a super little pillow, a thick, you get a super, you get a properly sized pillow, a thick mattress, a thick mattress pad and a really nice blanket too. And there's a small storage shelf as well by the bed if you want to use it. I have a lot to say about this bed. You know, I've used dozens of business class seats on planes before. They're great, but they tend to be straight up and down and quite narrow. They can often cost thousands of dollars to book too. Napaway's bed is different. It's formed from two seats and they really undersell this in their promo video here. Okay, so this is the mattress pad rolled out straight, but look, there are two extra wings on the mattress pad, a bit like a panty liner, I guess. But seriously, it makes the bed very wide and great for side sleepers and spreaders alike. It's better than any single bed on any aircraft or sleeper train I've ever taken, and that is saying something. In fact, I fell asleep much quicker than I expected and even missed the Knoxville stop as a result. just woken up because the bus has made a stop here at some rest stop uh, in the middle of uh, Interstate 81. Had a really um, good journey so far actually, slept solidly for about four hours and as soon as the bus is on the move I'll probably get back off to sleep again. Really comfortable bed, I'm actually very very impressed but uh, that's enough talking for now, everyone else is asleep so uh, let's try and get some more shut eye. We're about uh, five hours away from DC. I managed nearly eight hours total sleep on this trip, which I was definitely not expecting. And we are just half an hour from DC when I wake up. It's Monday morning, it's a fresh day, and I'm glad I chose Napaway to do this trip.
we cut through the traffic and end up at this rather random parking lot to end our trip. And I've got some closing thoughts about Napaway. My main feedback is, the stops are weird and not cool if it's raining. Nashville does not look like this every Sunday and the city was dead when I traveled. There's nothing open in the vicinity of the stop either after about 6 p.m. Luxury bus company Von Lane in Texas picks up from a hotel in each city, who I'm sure are more than happy to have you in the lobby, maybe even paying for a coffee or a beer while you wait for the bus. This isn't Von Lane, but it's not Greyhound either. We were a little late, there was no Wi-Fi, and I ended up in the worst suite on the bus, but still, I loved this. Napaway is a startup with, I think, one vehicle, so I can forgive some teething issues, and the bed and overall experience was both very good and truly unusual. Will the sleeper bus take off in America? I don't know, but I respect these guys for giving it a go. I'd do it all again if I had to. Thanks as always to Surfshark. Don't forget to go to surfshark.deals forward slash winging it for a special Black Friday deal of 85% off and three extra months for free of Surfshark VPN. Bye for now.